Good morning. Sit up nice and tall. Root through your sit bones, lengthen through your crown. Get the extra wiggle movements out. Twist, round your back, lift your chest. Round your back, lift your chest. Lift one shoulder, then the other shoulder. Movement through the spine. Find yourself at tall stillness. Relax through your hips, your legs, your shoulders. Tune into your breath for just a moment. I want you to inhale and feel like you're increasing your foundation by bringing air into the deepest part of your core down into your pelvic floor. And when you exhale, imagine that the air is being pushed from the bottom and lifting and lengthening and pushing out of the top. So inhale nice deep into the core, exhale, lengthen it up. So you might actually relax your belly on your inhale, exhale, draw it in to help push that air up and out. Inhaling and opening, rooting through the foundation, making it wide, making it feel wide. Exhaling and making it feel tall and long. You can even slouch on the inhale if you want to. Then draw up and tall on the exhale. On your next exhale, hold your length. Still breathe with your belly. Centered in your sit bones from front to back, not leaning forward on the pubic bone or leaning back on the, on the tailbone. Today, we're going to work through the spine, through the hips, through some core. We're going to start with some spinal undulation. So we're going to drop our chin forward and just allow our shoulders to follow, rounding your back. Pull your belly in like you're rounding over a bowling ball. Go as far as you feel comfortable and then start to push your chin and chest forward. Keep your belly pulled in and take them all the way up and then line your spine up from the head to the tailbone. So starting again, chin forward, rolling forward from the top down, go as far forward as comfortable and then lift the head, chin, chest, keep the belly in, face to ceiling, and then start lining up head, chest, mid back, low back. Again, round forward, roll, lift head, chin, chest, head to ceiling, then stack head, shoulders, back. And again, round, roll, pull that belly in so that when your weight comes forward and you start to lift, your back is protected. Stack one on top of the other. One more time, round over, roll, lift, reach through chin all the way to the ceiling, and then stack everything on top. Lengthen through the crown, lean to the right, take the left arm, inhale up and over that left ear. Stay tall in the lower half of your body. Breathe, turn your head and look through your armpit. So if you need to open that shoulder a little bit more.
Bring the arm up to the ceiling, head follows, stack your spine and release back down. Other side, just the shoulders are gonna tilt over to the left side. Bring the right arm up next to the ear, lengthen, stay tall in the lower half of your body. Turn your head and look through your armpit. Make sure your shoulder opens up. Breathe. Start to stack, arm up, head up, all the way down. Roll your shoulders forward, up, back, and down, and exaggerate it way forward. Really round your back. Up tall to your ears, chest out, small upper back arch, big exaggerated rolls. Use your whole upper body to get the rolls in. Go the other direction. Back, chest lifts, roll forward, round forward. And relax. Getting a little, having a little sweat storm over here. Good stuff. Scoot yourself forward in your chair. Doesn't really matter where the legs are located, but we're going to kind of lean side to side. So you may want a little bit wider foundation with your legs. Sit up nice and tall, root through the sit bones. Draw the belly in slightly to protect the spine. You're going to take the right arm forward, palm up. Stay tall in your spine. Keep your shoulder in its neutral position. I don't want you to reach your shoulder forward. Keep your shoulder in neutral. Draw the belly in and start to lean forward like you're handing someone something, but don't pull the shoulder forward. Draw the belly in. Breathe and come back. Take it to 45 degrees. Reach over there, but keep your shoulder in neutral. Don't reach your shoulder out and away. Keep it close to your body. Breathe. Come back. Take it out to the side. Same thing. Keep the shoulder in. Take the body over to reach and give it. Utilizing through the core. And back, release that hand. Other side, left hand forward. Don't let your shoulder go forward. Keep them lined up. Draw the belly in. Bring your whole upper body forward. And back. Take it to a 45. We're gonna lean to that 45 degree. Everything's moving in the core. The shoulder's not moving at all. And come back, the outside. Lean your body over, not your shoulder. And come back and release down. Take your right hand again and take it across the body. Take your left hand, index finger right in the crease and you're gonna rotate that 45 degrees, your upper body rotate and then reach and pull back. Inhale, reach, exhale up, back up tall. Inhale, reach, exhale up, one more. Inhale, reach, exhale back up. Open yourself, switch hands, right in the crook, left comes across and you're gonna rotate 45 degrees. Up tall in your spine, inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it back. Inhale, reach. And pull back. Last one. And pull back. Open yourself up and relax. Roll your shoulders, twist a little bit if you want. Whatever feels good. You're gonna do another upper back twist. So bring your hand, your feet touching, your knees touching. 
And if you just have your feet touching and you relax, your knees want to fall open. So I want you to engage and keep the knees touching. You don't have to squish them together strong, just so that the skin touches themselves. Okay, up nice and tall. I'm gonna take the right arm and inhale up, turn left, exhale down, let that arm float either to the outer thigh or to the hip. And then I want you to focus on taking that belly button and bringing that forward, straight forward. So it untwists you just a little bit. Check your sit bones. Are you forward on your pubic bone? Are you back on your tailbone? You need to be centered between the two. Breathe. Right arm inhales up in front of your face and exhale to twist back forward. Other side, inhale up. Exhale, twist over first and then pull that belly button forward. Untwist slightly. Squeeze the thighs together. Make sure they stay touching. They're probably getting a little tired. Okay, breathe, inhale up in front of your face, exhale back down and relax your thighs and shake them out. All right, put your feet underneath your knees and once you take your hands, you're gonna bend forward, keep your belly in, keep your back flat, you're gonna bend forward and just run your hands to either side of your shin on your outside of your calf muscle. And I want you to put pressure in without actually pushing them in. I want you to just put pressure with your hands and then I want you to counteract that pressure with your thighs. So you're trying to open and the hands are trying to close and it's this whole thing. And what it helps to do is it helps to strengthen through the uh, ligaments and tendons in the hip joint to help keep the sacrum lined up and relax your hands and legs and sit up, shake them out, roll your arms, your shoulders. We're gonna do it again. Feet underneath your knees, <clears throat> tall through your spine, pull your belly in, hands to the outside. Just lean forward until you feel the meat of your calf out to this, the side of your calf. A little bit of pressure with your hands first and then counteract with your thighs, trying to open, trying to close, all at the same time, belly drawn up, lengthen through the crown, feel the butt engaged, the thighs, hands, arms, and relax and sit up. And really, good job. All right, we're going to do this seated figure four, but we will do the lay down. So if you wanna use a strap for the seated, you can, don't have to. <clears throat> if you want deeper stretch, you can always do this with height, blocks or books. There is a diminishing point of return though. Sometimes the higher you go, the less, the less you feel it, sometimes the higher you go, the more you feel it. Sometimes the higher you go, the more you get out of whack. For instance, when I put two, even though the stretch feels really good, I also really start rounding and compromising the spinal posture. So if find something that's of the right height that gives you just enough uh, hip love, butt love, all that good stuff. So I want you to have, if you're not using a strap to hold on, I want you to have your hand not on your ankle joint, but right in front of the ankle, soft flex of the foot and find your neutral in your sit bones. Lengthen through the crown of your head. We're going to do that same spinal undulation move in this position. So it starts with rounding our head forward, shoulders go with, rolling over the bowling ball, and then lifting the head, chin, neck, 
reaching through the chin to bring yourself back up. Tall, and then start over. Round forward over the bowling ball. Lift your chin, chest, head. Come back. One more round over. And back to tall spine. Breathe. Slide it over to cross. Take your left hand below the knee. Take your right hand either to the seat of the chair, to the back of the chair, to your hip, whichever feels better. And sit up tall first. Lengthen, deep breath. Exhale, rotate. Pull the belly in. Turn your head over your back shoulder. Breathe. And rotate back. And switch legs. If you're using a block or whatever, scooch it over. Lift up. You may find more flexibility in one hip over the other. So you may want to use more or less block or lift. Whatever you're using for lift, make sure that you're holding, if you're holding with your shin instead of strap, not your ankle bone, but right above it. Foot's gently flexed. Center yourself from side to side and from forward to back. Lengthening nice and tall. And we'll start our undulation. Chin forward, round your shoulders over the bowling ball, then start to lift and reach the chin all the way to the ceiling. And again, chin down, shoulders forward, roll over the ball, up through the chin, lift and lengthen. Last one, round over. Chin reaches all the way up and then come back up to nice and tall. Slide that leg across. Take the right hand on the outside of the left thigh. Left hand either on the chair or on the hip. Deep breath and center yourself. Lengthen through the crown, even on both sit bones. Deep breath. Exhale and rotate. Turn your head over that back shoulder. Where is your um, sit bones? Are you back on your tailbone, forward on your pubic bone, center yourself over both. And slowly rotate to come back. And release your leg. And shake it out. Good stuff. Make your blocks off to the side. We're gonna put our chair towards the end of the mat, seat facing. And we're going to put our, I'm using, I'm starting with the left side being the side with the chair. So I got my left foot under the chair and I'm gonna bend my left knee so that it just taps that chair. So you rearrange until you feel that left knee just tap and then walk the back foot back as far as you feel comfortable and you can keep that, that just that tap, it's just touching it. You want your hips to come forward. You want your back foot, the instep, the arch of your back foot to be in line with the heel of your front foot. You want your chest and torso forward. You want to be able to peek through your armpit, down through your thigh and see the big toe, okay? You kind of get comfortable in that position first. You're getting some inner thigh stretch. This one's trying to push itself open. So you're squeezing through the glute. Back arm, palm up at shoulder level. Front arm is gonna come up to the ceiling. Reach and lean. Breathe, pull the belly in. 
come back up, switch your arms. This one comes down, this one goes up. Reach in each direction and then lean. And back up. Arms, both arms to the side, flip, hands down, reach to opposite direction. We're gonna lean towards the front knee. Coming down, hand is gonna go to the chair, right in front of the knee. Opening up, turning and looking at that palm in the ceiling. Squeeze through your glutes. You're not pushing into the chair. You're just feeling the chair touch that knee. Breathe. Squeeze through the glutes, through the abs. Bring yourself back up. Straighten that leg. Reach over that chair and come back down. Changes the stretch. Try and relax your knees. Find a focal point and breathe. Engage through the core. Squeeze through the butt. Pull yourself back up. Release your hands down and you're gonna heel toe, walk your back foot in. Walk it in, walk it in, walk it in, walk it in. All right, here comes our balance. So I want you to take that front foot and I want you to pull it back so that you're, you can lean over the chair and you can just barely see your toes. Not a whole lot of mat between your toes and the chair when you lean over and peek. We're going to do a half moon, which means we're gonna lean this direction and this back leg is gonna come up in the air. So we're gonna start with the lean first. So your front hand is gonna lean, come up on the back toes, lean and grab. You can also grab up here if that's easier and you're gonna lift that leg at the same time. Breathe. Lengthen. This arm can remain on the hip if you want it to. Find a focal point. Flex your lifted foot. You ready to make our way down? Bend the front knee, start to lower the leg, and then release the chair. Shake it out. We're gonna do all that stuff on the other side. So I'm actually gonna face the other way so you can kind of mirror it and not having to uh, try and alternate sides. So we're gonna start with having your front, new front foot, knee is touching, and you're gonna to heel to walk back to your own comfort level. But you're gonna make sure that your inner foot is in line with the heel of your front foot. Then you're gonna take your hips and chest and you're gonna come as straight forward as you possibly can. You feel squeezing through this glute and down this thigh to help keep open. Your toes on your back leg are directly forward. Toes on the front leg are facing that direction. So your back arm is gonna come up, palm up. Your front arm is gonna come right up next to your ear and you're gonna lean towards the back. Breathe. Keep the abs drawn in, coming back up. You're gonna switch your arms, one down, one up. Breathe and lean the other direction. This is that upper body lean we did at the beginning. And coming back up, arms parallel. You're gonna reach over, flip this hand down. You're gonna lean over. Turn and look at that hand if you would like. Engage through the core, press through that front foot, help you come up. Now we're gonna do a straight leg, straighten your front leg. Reach your front arm over so your hips are pushing back, your chest is pushing forward. Hand comes down to the chair, back arm comes up. Hmm. 
Ready to bring yourself back up. Engage through your quads, through your glutes. Push through the soles of your feet. Bring yourself back up. Bring your hands down. Heel to walk this foot in and draw the front one back. So that if you looked over the top of your toes, you could just baby see a little bit of the mat between the end of the chair and your toes. So facing forward again, we're gonna walk this foot forward in a little bit more. And we're gonna start that upper body lean towards the chair. The back heel starts to come off, starts to lift. Find the position of your hand that works. Lifting that back leg. Trying to keep it parallel, flexed, arm up. Breathe. Challenging. Focus on your breath. And to come down, start lowering that leg. Feel like you need to start walking yourself up and relax. Shake it out, walk it out. Shake out your legs. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go to the floor. That was plenty good balance, I do believe. My inner thighs are talking to me a tad bit. So we're gonna start seated. Strap. Told you we would need a strap today. Block was kind of optional. Put the both feet out in front of you with your toes, with your feet gently flexed so that your toes are lifted towards the ceiling. And you're gonna lasso your feet. I'm going to get it about midway, about arch. Make sure your legs are hip width apart. My tendency of my legs is to be open more than hip width. So I have to bring them in. Sitting on your derriere, you might have to pull the excess booty up. It helps sit taller. Draw the belly in to protect the spine. Keep yourself from rounding forward. Keep yourself from arching back. All right, now use Walk down your strap with your hands at a comfortable position, a comfortable distance, so that you can be nice and long like an L. But you've got a little bit of resistance on that strap. The resistance in the strap is helping you stay tall in your spine. Your feet are flexed, but your knees are soft. If you're not squeezing your knees flat, and keep a micro bend in them. And we're gonna breathe with some motion. We're gonna start with deep inhale. Exhale, bend the elbow, come forward. Inhale, right back up tall. Exhale, bend the elbow forward. Inhale, back up tall. Exhale, forward. Inhale, back up tall. One more. And come back up. Lengthen. Lasso only the right foot. Relax the left leg. You can let the feet fall, the foot fall over to the side. Completely relax. Keep the right one active. Deep breath. Exhale, come forward. Inhale up. Exhale forward, inhale up, one more. Exhale forward, inhale up and release the strap. Lengthen tall through the spine. And I want you to engage all the muscles it would take to lift that leg off the floor so nothing was touching the floor. You don't have to lift it unless you wanna try. I want you to engage the muscles to lift the leg. It doesn't have to come all the way off the floor. It doesn't have to come off the floor at all. You could just lift enough so that you feel your skin touching, but you don't have any weight on it. Just lift and release, just lift and release. 
Use the muscles, engage and release. Engage and release. Like my shin is, or my calf muscle is still touching the floor, but I've pulled, lifted the weight of it off the floor. If that makes sense. Just lifting and releasing. Engage through the quad and release. Engage through the quad and release. Engage and release. Relax, shake it out and lasso your left foot. Line it back up with your hip. Relax your right one completely. We're going to do our breathing with movement. Deep breath up. Exhale forward. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Inhale up. You're going to release the strap. You're going to engage those leg muscles. Quad dominant. The top of your thigh is dot, will be dominant. Lifting, lifting the weight and releasing it. Lifting and releasing it. Trying to stay tall in your spine. Just lift and release at your own pace. My heel comes off a little bit. Nothing on my upper leg comes off. It's just that I feel the weight release off my calf muscle. Lifting and lowering, lift and lower. Engage and release, engage and release, engage and release and relax. Take your strap off to the side. Make sure you can still reach it because we're still gonna do the figure four on the floor. Scoot your bottom forward. And we're going to practice a slow roll down. So hands on your shins, round your back, pull your belly in like you're over a bowling ball and slowly start to roll down. Let the hands slide up your thighs. I take mine to the backs of my thighs and start to rock, walk my feet in. Try and go as slow as you possibly can all the way down to the floor. And once your head's at the floor, relax. Knees are up. Walk your feet to the outside edges of your mat. And I want you to do some flopping first. Warm up the hips a little more. Flop side to side, back and forth. You can keep the abs and glutes engaged while you flop if it feels better on your back. You cannot go as far to one side or the other if it feels better on your back. All right, we're gonna take our feet, both feet or both knees over to the right side. Again, to support the back, you can put something underneath your right thigh, a blanket rolled up, a block pillow. Coming on with the outside edges of your feet, I want you to take your arms into cactus. Open up your chest. And I just want you to let both legs completely relax. If you need to flex your feet in order to protect your knee, you can. Breathe. Pull your belly into your spine, feeling your back lower to the ground. Lift the legs up, flop side to side. Relax your hands if you want to, your arms. Release cactus. All right, we're gonna take them over to the left side now, rolling up on the outside edges of your feet. Put something underneath your outer thigh if you need to. Take your arms back to cactus. Flex the feet if you need to. If you could direct your breath to a certain area, direct it to the front of your right hip, your right thigh. Pull 
pull your belly in, starting to lift the legs back up. Walk them side to side a couple of times. And when you're ready, I want you to lasso your left foot. Take it to the air and we're gonna cross the right one over to the figure four, just like when we're seated. Right knees out to the side. Flex your right foot if you need to for knee support. Strap is in both, either, each hand has an end of the strap all on its own. Reach as far down the strap as you can without taking your shoulders off the mat. Then take a deep breath. Exhale, draw your elbows up towards your ears, pulling the legs in. Breathe into that hip. Good stuff. Start to roll to the left a little bit, move it into your piriformis, deeper into the butt. Roll it back. Put your feet in the air. Right foot goes in the strap, left ankle hangs off right thigh, open left knee. Take a deep breath. Exhale, draw the elbows up towards the ears. Start to roll to the right. Move deeper into the glute. We're going to take nice, big, controlled breath. Roll yourself back. Release your strap. Release your feet. Keep your knees up and roll for just a moment. Feet are uncrossed. You're gonna take your left hand on the outside of your right thigh. And you're gonna take your right hand out in a T position with the palm up. And you're going to draw the belly in and roll your hips together to the left. You can roll onto something, a pillow, a blanket, something that will give you some height. If the floor seems like it's a long ways away. Keep your knees stacked, ankles. Breathe, opening through the back, side, the chest. It might be easier for you to roll your shoulder over first and then roll everything together or pull the knees in tighter to the belly and roll them back. Realign when you get up tall, run to the other side. Right hand, it goes across to, on the outside of the left thigh. Left hand comes out in a T with a palm facing the ceiling. And then you're gonna roll your hips right. Try and control, go nice and slow. Roll onto something if the floor seems forever away. Because you, you want to be able to Relax those legs and those, that belly once you get it onto something, whether it be the floor, a pillow, a bolster, up against a couch. You can't roll very far. Breathe. Breathe into your side body. The top left quadrant of your chest. Now you can either roll your left shoulder over on top of your right, or you can draw those knees in closer to your belly and start to lift. Roll out just a little bit. Put your feet flat on the floor. We're gonna do a couple of little Pilates 
pulses, which are not at all in any shape or form fun, yet effective. Do you want your hands on either side of the body? Palms are down. So remember when we did our undulation, we drew our chin into our chest and we started to roll our shoulders up near our ears and forward like we're rolling over a ball. We're gonna do that same concept, but obviously we're not rolling all the way up. What we're gonna do is we'll take, I'm gonna talk you through it. We're gonna take a deep breath first. And then as we start to roll our shoulders off the mat, reach your fingertips, tip, lift them off the mat and reach them towards your feet and then roll yourself back down on your inhale, okay? Let's take a deep breath. Exhale, chin comes in first. Start to roll shoulders, fingertips reach, and then slowly come back down on an inhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, lift and roll. Inhale, back down. Release the breath. Inhale, exhale, head first, thin shoulders, reach fingers, and roll back down. And relax. So we didn't pulse, but the purpose of that is a pulse. So this time we're going to roll up and we're going to hold it and pulse breath like that for three times. Deep breath starts. Exhale, chin in, chest up. Pulse and roll back down and relax. So those are not fun when you do like 10 of those in a row and you have to breathe for 30 seconds. But since this is an Pilates class, we're just doing a taste of it. Roll your hips around, get yourself ready for Shavasana. Find a comfortable position, comfortable yet supported position. Arms at your side or relaxed in your belly. Whichever is more comfortable. Hips and shoulders are lined up. Head is supported if need be. Back feels supported. Tune into your breath. Rise and fall. Feel the heaviness of your meat suit on your bones. Feel the skin attached to the body. The gravity of your muscles. Drawing off of your bones towards the floor. Feel the skin draw towards the floor. Feel the breath relax into the back of the body. Feel the internal organs. Relax into the spine. From your belly button, I want you to relax your abs, your hips, your chest. Release the front of your body into the back of your body. Relax your shoulders, down your arms, into the palms. Relax your glutes, down your legs, into the soles of your feet. From the tailbone, walk your awareness up the spine, through the low back, through the mid back, through the neck, right to where it attaches to the skull. 
Feel the back of your head in the mat. Let your body be. Let it lay there. Let it rest. Bring your awareness to your thoughts. Are they binging around, bouncing around? Are they trying to focus on my voice or are they off on their own? Draw your thoughts inward, right into the center of your brain. Can you imagine what it's like right there in the center? And I want you to draw your thought process to being good enough. What does good enough mean when it comes to changing a tire? What does good enough mean when it comes to making dinner? What does good enough mean in terms of being a parent? What does good enough mean in terms of dusting the house? What does good enough mean in terms of mowing the lawn? What does good enough mean in terms of brain surgery? What does good enough mean in terms of riding a bike? What does good enough mean in the terms of planting a garden? In flying a plane? in being a friend. In making a margarita. What does good enough mean for yourself? each day, the things that you do or need to accomplish, the relationships that you have, whether it be wife, mother, friend, church leader, school teacher, where is your good enough meter? Do you feel that your good enough meter is too low or too high? Our good enough meters kind of change based on the circumstances. We're not flying planes every day, but we're not making margaritas every day either. Does your good enough meter match your expectations? What about the expectations of others? What we might feel is good enough for, our, for us may not be good enough for someone else and vice versa. What we feel like is good enough for the dishes to be done may not be the same as our spouse. This is where grace comes in. Grace comes into us for ourselves and for others. A 
make sure that you're reaching your good enough meter enough and let grace fill the rest. Not beating yourself up or others. Having greater expectations of others or of self can lead to negative outcomes. So when you're faced with a good enough example or circumstance, see it from all sides. Your good enough meter, their good enough meter, and where's the grace in the middle? Take a nice deep breath, fill up your lungs. Exhale it out and let expectations fall. Let negativity fall, stress fall. If you need more big breaths to let more stuff fall, fill it up, let them go. <laughs> let them fall to the side. Fill it up with grace. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, roll your wrists, roll your ankles, shoulders, hips, knees, elbows, spine, neck. Create movement in each and every joint that you can. Wake up the muscles. Make fists with the feet and hands. Squeeze in tight, 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 tight. And then open up really wide. Stretch between the webbing of the hands and feet. Squeeze them in nice and tight. Open them up nice and wide. Relax. Gently draw one knee at a time into your chest. Roll if you would like. Sit still. Then roll over onto your side. Stack shoulders, hips, and knees. Take a moment to let gravity transition. Gently walk yourself up to a seated position. Shoulders over hips. Roll your shoulders around, forward, up, back, and down. Go the other direction, back, up, forward. And relax, starting with the right arm. Inhale, up and over to lean left. Big breath, exhale it back down. Other side, left up and over. Exhale it back down. Both arms, inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale and twist right, arms come down. Inhale up, twist forward, exhale arms down. Inhale up, twist left. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. Twist forward. Exhale, arms down. Big breath. Inhale, arms come up. Hands come together overhead. Exhale them down to your chest. Wide fingers. Press into the palms, into the fingers. Lengthen through the crown. Deep breath. And namaste. <laughs>